How to become a blockchain developer? Get a dog. Not really. Let's discuss, let's discuss. So at this point, everyone understands that technology and programming is the future. In order to be part of the future, you better work or do something that is related to technology or programming. Every mother and father are telling their kids, learn something about tech, be in tech, programming is amazing. However, this also leads to inflation. We have so many developers today. All kinds of developers from all kinds of countries now know how to build web apps, how to build mobile apps. And there's a whole new frontier, which is blockchain, programming money, programming cryptocurrencies, which is still very, very uncharted territory for most developers, which means that you and I have insane advantage. Most professional developers have not migrated from web or mobile or backend into crypto, which means that you and I have not a lot of competition when we become active in crypto. When we build our track record, our apps, and our user experiences in this industry. So the opportunity is huge if you understand how the markets work, how the demand for programmers actually works. Because if you are a developer and you're watching this, and your plan is to be successful web developer, mobile developer, backend developer. You're competing with millions and millions and millions of people across the globe. If you are a blockchain developer, you are one of the few world experts that knows how this works. So make your bets go into blockchain. The good news is if you know JavaScript, you can already program decentralized applications or dApps. So dApps are decentralized applications or applications that are built on top of cryptocurrency networks. So what you could do using simple JavaScript is that you can build a wallet where people log in and they see all their assets on the Ethereum blockchain or Binance chain blockchain. You can build an app where people log in with their wallet and they can see their taxes, they can see their average transaction volume, their average transaction value, and so on and so forth. So you can do a lot with simple JavaScript. And the easiest is to go to Morales, docs.morales.io, and you can start learning here. So for example, when a user logs into your application, how do you get all of their ERC-20 tokens? Well, very simple. You just write one line of code. How do you get all of their ERC-20 tokens on Binance chain? Well, you just specify which blockchain you want, whether you want Ethereum or Binance or Polygon. So with simple JavaScript, Morales allows you to build anything you want. But there is a limitation to what you can do with only JavaScript because with JavaScript, you can interact with the current blockchain code. So the way it works is that you have all of these applications written in JavaScript here, for example, and this can be a web app or this can be a mobile app. And what they're doing is that they are interacting with the blockchain and the blockchain has its own scripting. You can script blockchain. You can actually add functionality to the Ethereum blockchain or Binance chain blockchain by using a language called Solidity. So with Solidity, you can add new code and new programs to the blockchain. So for example, if you want to launch your own cryptocurrency, you can do that by using Solidity programming. It's a very simple language to learn, especially if you know JavaScript. Solidity is almost like JavaScript. And we do have a full playlist on how to learn Solidity, learning Solidity from basic. So check it out. Our good friend Pierre has done it. And just to show you a piece of code, I mean, if you know JavaScript, you know this, you know, it's simple functions, very, very simple. But so using Solidity, you can actually add new code to the blockchain. So you could build your own assets, your own NFTs. If you want to tokenize a piece of real estate, you can launch a token on Ethereum or Binance chain. So here is where you need a bit of different tech because JavaScript here is not enough. Here you need to learn either Solidity or Viper. Viper is another language you can use in order to program Ethereum or Binance Chain or Matic uh, dApps. And Viper will also have in our, in our YouTube channel here. So you can go and you can check this one, Viper programming language. So Viper is more like Python. If you remember how Solidity looked like, and I show you how this looks like, you see it's more like Python here in, uh, in Viper. So if you are a Python developer and you're watching this and you want to get into blockchain programming and actually do your own blockchain logic, use Viper. If you are a JavaScript developer and you want to do your own blockchain logic, use JavaScript. So you use Viper or Solidity to program the blockchain and then you use JavaScript and together with Morales in order to build the front end because Morales makes it easy. Everything is one line of code with Morales, like I showed you. So you have to choose. Do you want to be a blockchain developer in terms of smart contracts? 
And this is, by the way, called smart contracts. When you're adding new code to the blockchain, you're writing a so-called smart contract. I personally don't like the name that it's called a smart contract. It should be called like blockchain app, you know, blockchain code or something, but it's called smart contract. It's a very bad name because people think it's some kind of legal contract, but it's not a legal. The idea with the naming was that it's kind of like a legal contract where you handle funds. You can send money to this program, which is a smart contract, and then it decides what to do with the funds depending on the logic in the smart contract. Uh, and it's a horrible name. It should just be called uh, blockchain program or, you know, Solidity app, whatever. But smart contract is basically small pieces of code on the blockchain that you and I can write using Solidity or Viper. So as you can see, you have two choices. And in most projects, you have two types of blockchain developers. Either you are building smart contracts and you are scripting the the blockchain so that your app can then interact with the blockchain or you're building the front end and you're only interacting with the blockchain and some apps for example like etherscan and if you are in blockchain you probably know what etherscan is but it's a block explorer if you're building a block explorer you don't need to build your own blockchain logic a block explorer will just read the existing blockchain logic a tax calculation app doesn't need to create own assets or create, you know, own smart contract. If you're building an app which will just calculate the taxes for your users, you just need to read the existing blockchain. You just need to read the existing transactions and existing assets. So for that, JavaScript is enough. If you want to build a portfolio tracker where people can log in and they can add all of their different wallets, you don't need to build with Solidity or Viper. JavaScript is enough because then you're only reading the existing the existing transactions and the existing uh, data on the blockchain. You're not inventing your own types of transactions. You're not inventing your own types of assets. But if you want to build, for example, your own decentralized exchange, then you need blockchain programming because you need to program how assets are flowing on chain. So to summarize it, if you need to program how assets are flowing or you need to create a new asset or you need to create a new interaction between users on chain, you need Viper or Solidity. If you're just building an app which interacts with current data uh, on chain and just reads the current uh, transactions and past transactions, then JavaScript is enough. And with Morales, everything is just one line of code for most of it. So to get started, I mean, how to become a blockchain developer? You can become a blockchain developer today. If you go to docs.morales.io, then you scroll down and you go here, build a simple dApp in three minutes. And you see how easy it is to get started. You create Morales account, and then you can create a login uh, page like this. I mean, this is the only thing that is needed. You just write uh, morales.authenticate, and you have user logged in, and this is cross-chain, uh, and you get MetaMask going, and so on and so forth. So this is how you do it. By the way, if you don't know what MetaMask is, I would recommend, I would recommend to just Google what is MetaMask and how to use it because we have a lot of developers who are joining blockchain space. They, have, they haven't even used MetaMask. <laughs> I think you should at least use crypto a bit before you start building. You need at least to know what MetaMask is, how, it's, how it works, how to interact with different websites. And I give you a task. If you currently are sitting here and you, you want to learn blockchain, but you don't even know what MetaMask is, I tell you, go to uniswap.org and figure out how to trade using Uniswap. So go here to use Uniswap. And my challenge to you, if you're completely new, figure out how to trade from Ethereum on Uniswap to DAI. I mean, just do a few trades so you understand how it works. Because in order to do this, you will have to connect your wallet here. You will have to understand. So you need to click here. But in order to do this, you need to have your MetaMask installed. All right. Uh, and in order to do this, you need to figure out how to create a wallet. So it's a, it's a bit other topic. It's a bit outside, but I'm telling you, if you can figure out how to install MetaMask and how to use Uniswap with your MetaMask, you're golden. You're ready to roll. You can dive even deeper. If you already know what MetaMask is, then you go here and you learn how to build dApps in, in three minutes. And here, here we build a simple dap where we just you know show you how to fetch historical transactions how to do some um, calculations on them and um, all in all we're calculating here the average gas price that you have uh, uh, spent so we this app that we do in you know three minutes it looks at all your transactions and then it tells you your average gas that you've spent in the transactions guys to summarize there are two types of developers. Number one, who creates the interfaces. For this, you use JavaScript and Morales. Number two, the one that actually creates blockchain logic, launching new assets, or coordinating how money flows on chain. 
This is Solicitor Viper. For Morales, you go to docs.morales.io. You can build interfaces very easily. If you want to code blockchain and change the logic on chain, you go to our YouTube channel and you follow the, pl the playlists for Viper or Solidity. Viper if you are Python developer and Solidity if you are JavaScript developer and you want to learn this. Guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you liked it. Hope you smash the like. Do it quickly. And if you want more videos like this, Subscribe, share it, share it, because this video, by the way, can change a lot of lives. I'm telling you, we have immense opportunity now in crypto. If you become blockchain developer, it's such insane opportunity. This is like being one of the first to create websites. Imagine the possibilities. Guys, see you all very, very soon. Have a good day. Enjoy your fantastic day and goodbye, guys. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.